Welcome everyone to St. John Advent Worship Online. We're glad you're here with us this evening. As we mentioned last week, our theme for Advent is waiting patiently, dot, dot, dot. We will uh, search this theme or review it by reading a piece from Henry Nowen, and tonight's theme is waiting patiently for joy. I'd like to give a thank you to everyone who has helped for this evening's service. First of all, people who have helped with music and our sound booth and recording artist, Mac Bertelson. At this point, uh, Christmas Eve is worship is still scheduled for 3 o'clock, 5.30, and 10.30 on the 24th. But we are requiring a, an RSVP from people, and there is going to be a limit for each of the services set at 70 people. And just a reminder, the yellow survey cards that you sent in earlier in the month of November are not reservations. Those were simply a survey to find out a sense of how many would be coming to the services. So if you have not given an RSVP but intending to come, you need to do so by calling the church office. Let's pause for a few moments of silence as we prepare to worship our Lord. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light of darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. Every day. 
dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice. Let us each reflect your light. God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your peace by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. God of glory, we know that you are coming at an unexpected hour. Come to us now in spirit and truth. Take us up into your presence and make us ready for your reign of peace through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Waiting patiently for joy. Tonight the theme is joy. But before we hear from Henry Nowen, let me say a few words about this thing called waiting and the adverb qualifying it, patiently. As anyone who has ever waited knows, 
Waiting is one of the most difficult things a person can do, especially when we wait for something, for someone in a life and death situation. Waiting for a loved one to come home in the wee hours of the morning, or waiting for the results of a medical exam or test results, or a standing vigil over a deathbed waiting for a loved one to die, or waiting for this pandemic to end. Waiting, it's difficult. Inherent in the act of waiting is a loss of control. We don't control whatever it is that we're waiting for. And there it is, the reason that waiting is so difficult. We can't control it. Then there's that adverb, patiently. Perhaps you know the two meanings of the word patient, that is, someone under a doctor's care or a nurse's care, that's a patient, or patient meaning calmly enduring pain or suffering without complaining or anxiety. Both words are spelled the same and actually come from the same Latin word, meaning long-suffering. And patience is long-suffering. One last thing, contrary to popular opinion, waiting for a, at least a person of faith, waiting is not totally a passive activity, especially when we find ourselves on our knees in prayer. Prayer is not passive. Or to watch for signs of God's presence and looking for God's strength and solace. Watching and looking are not passive. And finally, of course, preparing. Preparing for God to act. Living with expectancy that God would act. None of it is passive. I'd like to read this from Romans chapter 8. Paul writes, We know that the whole creation has been groaning in travail until now. And not, not only creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits, groan inwardly as we wait for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. The following comes from Henry Nouwen's book, Out of Solitude. Jesus changes our history from a random series of sad incidents and accidents into a constant opportunity for a change of heart. To wait patiently, therefore, means to allow our weeping and wailing to become the purifying preparation by which we are made ready to receive the joy which is promised to us. And a further explanation of this from Henry Nouwen. As we celebrate Christmas, we remember how Jesus makes the love of God personal and lasting. In this veil of tears we call life, he weeps with us when we weep and rejoices with us when we rejoice. And through the laughter and tears, he brings the promise of better things to come. As a child struggles to wake patiently for Christmas morning, so too do we wait for the joy of Jesus that will be revealed at the last day. But we do not wait alone. The Spirit of Christ Jesus waits with us in eager anticipation of his second coming. In that second advent, the angels and all creation will shout and sing, let the heavens be glad and let God's will be done. For now we wait, and while we wait, we pray with the psalmist in Psalm 30, verse 5. Weeping may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning.
An angel came from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the Chosen One of God Most High. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. So proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness overmore. Bless our God. Praise and bless to you. May God the Father bless you and keep you. May Christ be ever light for your lives. May the Spirit of love be your guide and path for all of your days. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.